The R7 falls short of Canon's potential for an outstanding mirrorless APS-C camera. Its 32.5 megapixel sensor, borrowed from the 90DE, suffers from sluggish readout speeds. Another significant drawback is the absence of a vertical grip mount, which ranks among the top three reasons why people aren't as fond of it. This omission is particularly glaring since flagship cameras typically support accessories like battery grips. To effectively challenge Fuji's X5, which boasts a rapid 40 megapixel sensor, Canon must invest in developing a comparable sensor. Here are my projected realistic specs for the R7 II. Let's dive into it. Canon's anticipated release of the EOS R7 II promises significant upgrades over its predecessor. Key improvements include a 35 to 40 megapixel stacked BSI sensor, offering faster readout speeds and enhanced low light performance. This sensor upgrade is complemented by a mechanical shooting speed of 15 frames per second and an impressive electronic shooting speed ranging between 40 to 50 frames per second. One of the standout features of the ER7 II is its advanced autofocus system, representing a significant leap forward in performance. Additionally, users can expect enhanced video capabilities, including 6K recording at 60 FPS and 4K at 120 FPS, albeit with a crop. Moreover, sampled 4K footage from 6 to 7K sources promises superior image quality, while high frame rate options for 1080p recording at 180/240 FPS are also anticipated. The introduction of 6 to 8 stops of in-body image stabilization, IBIS further enhances the ER7 II versatility, ensuring steady shots even in challenging shooting conditions. Additionally, Canon is likely to introduce a new multi-angle LCD screen, similar to the one expected on the R5 II, featuring the same size and resolution. Under the hood, the ER7 II is expected to feature a new processor. Canon enthusiasts can also look forward to the potential launch of the RFS 1660MF 2.8 IS USM lens, succeeding the popular EF 1755MM 2.8 IS USM lens, further expanding the RF lens lineup. The camera's electronic viewfinder is also set to receive an upgrade, with expectations of a 4.6MP resolution for a more immersive viewing experience. Additionally, Canon may extend the ISO range down to 50 or 64, catering to photographers who demand optimal image quality in bright conditions. In the absence of an ER7C model, the ER7 II is likely to feature RAW video capabilities with 10-12-bit depth, unlocking greater flexibility in post-production. Moreover, the camera's potential for 8K recording underscores Canon's commitment to pushing technological boundaries requiring a sensor resolution of at least 38 MP to achieve. Canon Log 2 and 3 support, alongside the implementation of dual ISO functionality, 100-1600, promises improved dynamic range and noise performance, particularly in challenging lighting conditions. Additionally, users can expect a full HDMI output for seamless connectivity with external recording devices. With an announcement anticipated between April and September, the market launch of the EOS R7 II is expected to occur between June and October. Canon enthusiasts can eagerly await the arrival of this highly anticipated camera, poised to set new standards in the mirrorless of PSC segment. Let's talk about upcoming EOS R5 Mark II. Canon has tested two sensors for the new R5 II camera, 45 megapixels and 60 megapixels. Each one has good things. The 45 megapiece sensor works with current R5 batteries, memory cards, and editing flows, but the 60 megapiece sensor would make the resolution better than Sony cameras. More megapixels also lets the R5 II do pixel binning. This combines pixels to get faster speeds or more detail when needed. So the camera can go from 60 MP to 15 MP to shoot very fast. Canon has to pick which sensor will go in the final R5 II model. More megapixels is better overall. Sources indicate that the 60 megapixel sensor is most likely to be featured in the production model at this stage. 
This suggests that pixel binning will play a significant role in maximizing flexibility for both photographic and videography needs. The R5. Mark II aims to reclaim the 8K RAW crown, with rumors suggesting 60fps 8K RAW internal recording. This doubles the existing 30fps limit in the original R5. Anticipate up to 90 minutes of continuous 8K 30fps recording, or 60 minutes at 8K 60fps, before heat limitations come into play. At lower resolutions, rumors suggest impressive 4K slow-motion capabilities up to 4K 120p or even 4K 240p, utilizing pixel binning to consolidate groups of pixels. This enables stunning high frame rate 4K capture for captivating slow-motion playback. Paired with Canon's renowned color science, the R5 2 video feature set is expected to capture attention. Image Processor To handle the extensive data from the high-resolution 60 memory sensor, the R5 Mark II is expected to incorporate Canon's latest Digic X2 image processor. This updated Digic platform promises enhanced computational power, catering to tasks like 8K video encoding, decoding, advanced autofocus drive, and next-gen image stabilization. Digic X2 is touted to deliver best-in-class image quality for both stills and video. While Canon pioneered Dual Pixel AF, known for its tracking speed, accuracy, and eye detection, the R5 II is set to receive upgrades. These enhancements may borrow technology from the R3 generation to further improve focusing abilities. The R5 II adopts a comprehensive subject detection approach recognizing people and animals, including birds, cars, motorcycles, and trucks. It promises reliable tracking even through erratic motion. Other features and specs. Beyond headline resolutions and performance metrics, the R5 Mark II will introduce several ergonomic and handling updates to enhance practical daily use. This includes an oversampled 6K EVF preview screen for optimal viewfinder clarity, along with a tilting touch LCD screen featuring protective cover glass for durability in challenging conditions. Enhanced weather and dust sealing ensure reliable outdoor shooting, upholding Canon's professional body legacy. Dual card slots offer flexible storage options, comprising one CFX Press Type A slot and one UHS-2 SD slot. Battery life sees improvement with a higher capacity battery design and advanced heat dissipation, crucial for extended 8K video recording. An updated multifunction shoe enhances compatibility with Variaus audio accessories for Polish sheet video production. Most credible rumors suggest an announcement of the Canon EOS R5 Mark II in early 2024 possibly coinciding with CP Plus 2024 in February. If Canon follows previous launch patterns, availability is expected somewhere between March and May. This release would occur nearly two years sooner than the 3.5-year gap between the original EOS R and R5 launch, highlighting Canon's commitment to pushing technological boundaries. With the current Canon R5 priced around $3,900, the R5 Mark II expected to bring a substantial technological leap, will likely be priced between $4,000 and $4,500. This places it out of reach for many hobbyists, targeting semi-professional hybrid shooters in need of exceptional performance. This pricing strategy logically positions the R5 Mark II above the newer Canon R6 line, leaving room for Canon to push boundaries further with potential releases like a high megapixel R5's line. As it stands, the R5 Mark II is poised to be Canon's flagship mirrorless offering upon its launch. In conclusion, the mentioned core specifications are what we hope to find in the Canon EOS R5 II camera. We'll share any new details about the upcoming cameras as soon as we receive them. Stay tuned for updates. Thank you for watching.